This wine is opening up. It doesn't take that long in a glass. It would be nice to decamp this wine, but it already showed me big cassis, mm. big plum fruits, and I'm digging it. Well, it isn't a happy wine room. I mean, if you're not happy here, you got an issue. Well, that is an interesting concept. If you're not calm in a place where you can sit down and enjoy wine and relax and breathe a little bit and know what you're putting in your mouth, it's difficult sometimes to interpret what wine is trying to send to you. Yeah, I think everyone should know what you're putting in your mouth. <laughs> Definitely. It is a personal decision. <laughs> Just say no. Before this gets way off track, I would like to talk about this neat little coaster that we've got our Bell Wine resting on. Uh, this is something I haven't seen before. It is a happy wine guy coaster. And just in case you can't pick up that, the face that only a wine drinker can appreciate. I can't thank you enough about that. Now these coasters are beautifully stone made and laser etched. Yep, from Slate. And you might think that we have the only ones, but if you wanted some of these, you can come out to happywineguy.com, send me an email, chances are we can hook you up. And you can customize them, depending on. It's, yeah, the, the options are endless. You know what? Our options are endless. And that's what, but what wine is about. Endless options of trying different wines. And if you stay tuned every week, we're gonna drink endless amounts of wine. I mean, if we don't stay tuned, we'll probably drink them. Yeah, so hopefully we will record it. Peace. So, good at barbecue, my friend Craig. How's this wine treating you right now? I think it's nice. It, uh, as I said before, it's acclimated very well. Uh, I still get the tannins on the around the outer mouth. It's kind of like a it is a cabernet. peach, fuzzy, chalky, kind of just real dry on your teeth. Very dry, but. The fruit is, is really playing well. Uh, it's young, it's an 06, so you know the fruit is not really expressing. It's it's young fruit. It's probably I don't think that, cherry. that dark cassis, the dark cherry, like you just said. Yeah. I mean almost up to black licorice. I mean yep. it is But not in a Ford gum kind of way. Not when we were kids and we used to do the penny Ford gum. It yeah, it's just it it plays well and it's balanced. And the alcohol is really, really subsided. Smooth. It's, it's very smooth yeah. out. There's nothing going, there's nothing wrong with this wine, yeah. except for, you know. It would hurt if you had a decanter and you wanted to dump this in on in, in that for an hour or two before you served it with your steak, whatever. You know what I like about the label on Bell Wines? Wow, that is true. It's really kind of neat that they individually number each bottle. To me, it's a little more personalized. It sounds like they care. What number you got there, Craig? Where you get this? 2707 of 22,048. Okay, so they make 22,000 in some bottles, but you gotta divide that by 12 to get cases. So I don't know what that is. I don't know. Um, 40, 49. Uh, 180 <laughs> cases, 100, 1,800 cases. And I've got one of the few bottles there, and we're sharing them with you. But you can get this bottle probably at your local retailer, and if you can't find it, just send an email to happywineguy at hwg at happywineguy.com or find me on Facebook, happywineguy.com or find me on Twitter, happywineguy and we'll get you an answer. And one of the one of the good things, Anthony, we, we've commented on Anthony a little earlier in the show. Anthony that we're speaking of is Anthony Bell and his wife Sandra, the winemaker. They are actually cruising the country right now and they're doing wine dinners, they're sharing their juice, they're, they're doing some really, really cool stuff. You know, we're, we're sharing the Cabernet with you tonight, but they do some really, really nice blends. They're Merlot rocks. They, uh, the Syrah is real happy. They make a couple white wines. And you can actually meet these people who make the wine for you. And to the happy wine guy, that makes it a little more personable. And, you know, wine is personal because you do put it in your mouth. Yeah, no, very true, very true. And hopefully you do not spit it out. Not at all. <laughs> so again, if you got your questions, hwg at happywineguy.com, find me on Facebook or Twitter. And until next time, it's me, Belly Up Barbecue, saying salute. Cheers. <laughs>